What's up friends, I'm Josh and welcome back to the TCNR Network for a very little, very tiny, little Scream 5 update. All right guys, so recently David Arquette did a interview in which he was talking about, of course, how exciting it is to be back on the set of Scream, to have filmed the movie, the nostalgia of it about being with Nev and Courtney. I love how he raves about them. I've said that in videos before, but I just love how he raves about working with those two very talented women. And also he's been giving a lot of interviews lately. He has a lot of different films coming out. I think it's something like five or six or seven different films that he worked on this past year, but he's been doing a lot of little interviews about Scream and just to see him excited about it and raving about it, obviously it gets me excited. But what he talked about this time had to do with Ghostface. Not only did he talk about how the mask is just amazing and there's a lot of detail in it, but he was talking about the Ghostface robe and he said something along the lines of it having some sort of technological advancement. And I mean, not those exact words, but but I'll, I'll find the information and like stick it right here. All right, so what David Arquette actually said in this interview was, there's some great things about Ghostface and his costume. There's more technological advances you can use now. And the fabric we have in this one is probably a little more advanced than the fabric they had when we first did it. He smiled. I'm really excited for it and for the fans. So what can that possibly mean? We don't want anything over the top in terms of using technology in the robe and the mask itself. You know, they did the cam thing uh, in the ghost face mask in Scream 4 where they recorded it. They had it in the mask. They had cams set up. They had the voice changer in Scream 3, which a lot of people didn't like that because they had various different voices. I thought it was really cool. Not once did I ever go, oh my God, that's so unrealistic. It's a movie, duh. Like it's also unrealistic that a guy in a ghost face mask is running around and nobody can catch him. Like, right? I mean, in my mind, I'd kick ass, but. I'm gonna pause here for a second. This image that I showed a little bit earlier in the video when I was talking about the ghost face robe. This is actually the new costume, the screen movie accurate costume that is going to be released by Fun World for the 25th movie anniversary. We don't know exactly when it's going to come out, but it's the first time that an actual film accurate representation of Ghostface is going to be available to the public, which I think is really neat. It looks amazing. I'm hoping that they use this exact same costume in the film. This is very refined that the sparkly robe, the mask is very detailed. And again, the word refined just comes to mind, but I've also been seeing a few other designs, you know, the scorched ghost face mask that is inspired by Dead by Daylight. <clears throat> I believe the video game is called. That's like the melting ghost face mask is really cool and really interesting. And apparently that's going to be released as well. And I've been getting some very interesting direct messages on Instagram in relation to these costumes, in relation to some of them being used in the film. I have a little bit of like a, a juicy kind of scoop. So keep an eye out for another video um, where I'm going to, of course, speculate about the future of the Ghostface costume and some pretty interesting variations that we may be getting in Scream 2022. So we know that new mask molds were made and we know that there's going to be two different sets of masks, you know, not the ultra white and the ultra white. We know that Kevin Williamson said that they used the exact same mask that was used in Rose McGowan's death scene. And other than that, like we don't, we don't really know too, too much. So the robe of course has had an evolution in terms of the fabric that's being used. So like, I'm kind of just thinking that maybe the way it was made, you know, those technological advancements since the first film is what he's talking about. But it could also mean that maybe the robe and the mask are now bulletproof, stab proof, so that this ghost face becomes almost unkillable. We, like Michael Myers never dies. Jason never dies. He's, even Leatherface is like hard to kill or even hurt or whatever, just cause he's so large. Uh, who else? Like Freddy Krueger obviously is dead, but like never dies. You know, go, to see Ghostface kind of indestructible would take this to a whole new level. You shoot him, nothing happens. You stab him, nothing happens. Or you think maybe you injured him and pops back up like he normally does, but he's actually not injured at 
all. Other than that, I don't know what these technological advancements could possibly be. Someone commented on another video saying an invisibility cloak. Please God, no. No, 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 no. I, that, no. Just no. I would never stop watching the screen films, but I would not be happy if Ghostface could be invisible. I just don't know what else it could be. And I want you guys to let me know down below what you think it could be because I'm dying for like other ideas and concepts and perspectives about what these advancements could be, but I literally can't think of any. Like my brain just stops at bulletproof. So please comment down below and let me know what you guys think the new ghost face mask and robe could have evolved to. And if you're not, follow me on Instagram at True Crime Nursery Rhymes, on TikTok and Twitter at TCNR Network. Visit my website, truecrimenurserymes.com for all of my Scream-inspired true crime and horror products, as well as my book, True Crime Nursery Rhymes. Like, comment, subscribe, definitely comment, because I, I need some other ideas to get my mind going, and then maybe I can make another video about what this new robe and mask could include. Tick that bell button so you know when I post something new, and until next time, I'll be right back.